Where are you, Minsk? Do your underlings always do your fighting for you? been for some time hiding. Terran Commander, it was a mistake for you to come here, for I am Duran, and I am a Templar of the Conclave. I know of you well, Templar. We've met on another occasion quite some time ago. I'm Captain Mensk of the Confederate Navy. I remember your valiant exploits when you were once human. Unfortunate it is to see one so proud and skillful succumb to such perversion. Do not lay your petty judgment upon me, Captain. You'll find my powers to be more than a match for yours. Ah, and what is this? Could it be that your power has diminished since last we met? How pitiful. Perhaps, Templar. Or is it that I need not waste my time? with such pathetic competition. Foolish Terran, prepare your defenses. I will end you soon. Duran, I sense something strange about this Terran. Perhaps this attack is ill-advised. Phoenix, I have told you too many times now not to impede me. Will you do so at your own peril? Executor. Impudent fool! You dare to threaten a Templar? You will be the doom of us all! Affirmative. Your path, standing order and instruction, contact. If you wait in command, if you know, standing by, your contact. Again, go to see Construction, awaiting command. Awaiting command. Contact. This area is where we will fight. I'll defeat you here easily. so much as to turn tail and run. Reveal yourself, coward. Until you learn to stop being so utterly predictable, I have no reason to face you at all. Your arrogance is your own worst enemy, Templar. has been slain. Quite a shame that he wasn't already within Dragoon. I expect that nuisance to return shortly and lecture me some more about you. You misunderstand. The Terrans have devised some sort of new attack. An attack powerful enough to destroy his Templar Nexus and create some kind of feedback 
whilst burning the executor's mind simultaneously. Ah, so Mengsk's plan was merely a diversion. Perhaps I should have gone about engaging him more cautiously. Without their leader, Phoenix's forces have gone rogue and are blaming us for his demise. Even now, these fools threaten the heart of the Conclave. Executor, you must eradicate these rebels and stem any further damage they may cause. I shall deal with the Terrans myself. Executor, awaiting command. I hunger for battle, for I am not standing for I As you will, for I am standing for I am What is you ask Conclave's long silence is now broken, and we are on alert once more. The cunning Terrans have dared to strike down that which was noble. The ones who murdered Phoenix are unlike any we have faced before. These Directorate forces use technology that is much like our own, and it is by this technology that they have caused us harm. Yet their pride shall be their downfall. For when the assassin, the one called Alexei Stukov, murdered Phoenix, his mind touched with ours, and all his secrets were made known to us. We now know the location of Tarsonis, the Terran homeworld. At long last, fellow Templar, our searching is done. Soon we shall assault Tarsonis directly. For now we must ensure that the Directorate causes no more harm. Executor, you shall set a trap for our foes. Duran will lead them to you. We are vigilant. And I do it. Reposition your observers. They've fallen out of place. Executor, your observers are in place. Be sure they remain there. Reposition your observers. They've fallen out of place. She has... Honor guide me for a dune. Now, Gorak, your warriors have engaged me. What is your request? Right away. Our will cannot be broken. Yes, Executor. Our will cannot be broken. Long live the Empire. Long live the Empire. What is your request? What is your request? What is your request? Yes, Executor. Your presence. We are filled with presence. It cost me. Yes, Executor. Long live the Empire. Long 
complete. What is your request? What is your request? Yes, Executor. I'm here. What is that? powerful enough to challenge anyone in this sector, even you. We may operate in the shadows, but make no mistake, alien, we could crush your kind without a second thought. You seem to be rather overconfident of yourself, Terran. I am no ordinary Protoss underling, but a hybrid of all three races. My very existence should turn you away in fear. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Come on. Now, Terrence, you shall feel my power. Now you shall know the fury of the Lord of Fire. Taro Adun, brethren, the hour of our victory is at hand. For upon the world of Tarsonus shall we conquer and incorporate the most cunning and creative of species known to us into our fold. Then we shall be the greatest of existence. We will soon be perfect. Before our creator's worldship can land on this world, the way must be prepared. You must seize the Terran Rift Anchor, for within it lies power undreamed of by Terrans. Go now, brave Executor. Go now, son of Iyer. Secure the Rift Anchor and bring swift wrath to all who oppose the Conclave. Instructions. <laughs> 
missing. You know? Executor, the Rift Anchor is in our possession. Now the turrets shall tremble before the might of our great fleets. Instructions. Carrier has arrived. Upgrade complete. No. You have done well, Executor. The Terrans can do nothing but flee before the onslaught of the Conclave. But now you must assault one final site before our conquest is assured. There is a structure not far from here that lies upon ground most hallowed. Though I have bore witness to the passing of countless decades, the structure which you must assault is younger by only a few years. For it was constructed by the ancient Terrans who had arrived here centuries ago. Where their ship first crash landed. Indeed, the Terrans are not native to this world, but rather another, but for now unknown. This world is by far their most hidden secret and the most worthy target for conquest. The site must be cleared and the rift anchor set in its place. Only then shall the way be made ready. For that ground alone will be symbolic for the world ship's landing. That is where the Terran resistance shall end. discovered these creatures on the planet Chao Sara. We had hoped to peacefully bring them into our fold. Instead, we were met with hatred and spite. The Terrans turned down our offer, and thus the Conclave led the Zerg to the Sara system to end their resistance. Now they will be joined into the Kala, and then the Conclave will greet them as part of the Empire. Truly, victory is finally ours.